on cloud. Go ahead, Paula. It's not okay, working. Thank you. So, thank, yep. you. Um, thank you for joining us here today. And thank you for your patience um, for the delayed start due to our technical issues. I'm Paula Massad, one of the Education USA advisors at the US Embassy in Doha. And I'm here with my colleague, Asil. Hi, everyone. I'm Asil Magiri. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks to our panelists joining us today, too. Thank you. So we're here today to talk about the Education USA Academy Connect summer programs. And with summer right around the corner, many, many of you may be wondering what to do, especially if you're not traveling as you've done in the past due to the pandemic. So that's why we're really excited to share information about the Connects programs. The EdUSA Academy is a pre-college academic program, enrichment program for international students ages 15 to 18. Um, historically, it's been an in-person program allowing international students to have that, to experience life on a US college campus. But of course, that's been put on hold due to the pandemic, but the ne next best thing is the virtual. So still allowing students to have a US college experience, but virtually from the comfort of their homes. And today we're very pleased to welcome representatives from seven of the EdUSA Academy Connects host institutions who will each provide details about their programs, registration information, and information about the dates. And if you have questions during the presentations, please um, feel free to type them in the chat and we'll have time at the end for Q&A. So welcome to the presenters and we'll get started. Um, just, well, I think we'll get started. There we go. So these are these are the seven insti um, host institutions that are jo have joined us here today, and we'll start with Boston University, and we'll turn it over to Keaton Gar Garcia. Welcome, Keaton. Thank you so much, Paula, and thank you, um, Asiel, and to Education USA Qatar um, for the invitation. And قبل أن أبدأ أود أن أقول أهلا وسهلا بالجمهور وبكل الطلاب والمستشارين في قطر وفي شرق الأوسط وأشكركم على المشاركة في هذا البرنامج. So with that out of the way, um, again my name is Kaitan Gadria, and uh, I work at uh, Boston University. And if you're not familiar with us, so Boston University is a top 50 nationally ranked university, and Boston. Our city is known as the education capital in the United States. Uh, we are home to seven of the top 50 universities, um, as well as more than 40 colleges and universities um, just within the borders of our city. And so our Connects program is really designed to help you understand the US higher education system and how to apply uh, to a university. So first you'll be meeting with and learning from BU International Admissions. Now to give you a sense of scale, BU is about 35,000 students and about uh, 11,000 of those are international. So our international admissions team every year is, is talking to thousands and thousands of international applicants. So you're gonna learn from them about um, how admissions works for selective universities like BU, um, as well as in general for international students. We will also have uh, virtual tours of different college campuses for you. Uh, some of those are in Boston. Some of those are um, throughout the state of Massachusetts, um, ranging from community colleges um, to public universities to private universities um, such as BU. We'll also be assisting you with your college application essay, uh, the essay that and personal statement that you need to write to apply to um, any college or university in the US. And then specifically this year, uh, our theme is leadership and leadership's connection to the college admissions process. Uh, to do this, we're going to cover two famous leaders who are connected to Boston. Uh, the first of those is Martin Luther King Jr., the famous uh, civil rights leader. Uh, he actually earned his PhD at Boston University, became Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, here. And the second is uh, President uh, John F. Kennedy. Um, he was born about a 15 minute walk um, from where I work on campus uh, and has a distinguished uh, uh, career in the presidency. So uh, we'll be covering uh, him through a presentation uh, from uh, his presidential library and museum, which is located in Boston. Uh, next slide, please. 
And here are some of the details uh, about our specific summer session. So you can see it is a five week program uh, going from July 5th to August 6th. Um, our times here are listed um, in the Boston's um, EDT local time zone. So for those of you who are in the Middle East, generally this means your class times will be in the afternoon. It's five hours per week over five weeks for a total of 25 synchronous hours. And we'll have an hour or two per week of uh, asynchronous uh, project work, teamwork and, and homework assignments. Um, for admission requirements, we are accepting ages 15 through 18. Uh, usually it's 15 to 17, but because this is an online program, we're gonna allow 18 year olds to join as well. And we're looking for an intermediate uh, level of English or a CEFR uh, B1 or higher. Um, you're not submitting a TOEFL or IELTS score when you apply to the program. Instead, uh, we will give you an online English placement test uh, after you apply. Uh, our total cost here is $450. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, you can see some links down here to learn more about us. Um, the first is our website, and you'll see it's bu.edu slash CLOP. CLOP is the Center for English Language and Orientation Programs, which is where I work at Boston University. And you can find us on social media uh, or, or email us um, with any questions that you have. So once again, thank you very much. And I hope we'll, we'll see you this summer in the program at Boston University. Thank you, Keaton. Um, next up, we have Sally from um, Diablo Valley College. Hello, everyone. Um, greetings from California. Uh, my name is Sally, and I'm the director of the International Education Center at Diablo Valley College. We are a two-year community college um, in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, we're the number one transfer to UC Berkeley and to UC Davis. So many of our students come uh, to us for two years and then transfer to another university in California or outside of California for their final two years uh, for their bachelor's degree. So our Connect uh, program. We are taking advantage of being in the San Francisco Bay Area, um, the technology hub, and um, we are concentrating the content on the tech culture and spirit of innovation. Um, this doesn't mean that we only want students who are interested in, in technology or computer science. Um, the whole tech world really encompasses all different uh, areas of study from the arts and humanities to law to the sciences. So our Connects program will improve your language and critical thinking skills uh, through exploration of the Bay Area, tech culture and spirit of innovation. Um, we also will do four different campus tours in the Academy Connects program. Um, we'll do one, obviously, of Diablo Valley College, um, of UC Berkeley, Stanford, and then SFSU, which is San Francisco State University. So through the campus tours, uh, you will uh, you'll get to know the different types of educational opportunities from a community college, a state public uh, university, and the University of California another state university uh, college, uh, university, uh, San Francisco State, and then a private university, Stanford. Um, along with the class and the virtual tours, um, we will also have guest speakers, um, technology experts of different aspects of working in the, uh, the high-tech industry, and we'll also meet with high, other high school students, local high school students, and college clubs. So we have a very full program. Um, we actually have two session dates. Each of our uh, sessions is three weeks long, so we've tried to condense it into a three-week period. The first session is July 5th to July 23rd, and these are Pacific time, so 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., um, which in most of your regions would be around 7 p.m. Um, so that time we hope will work well for you. The 
second summer session, actually, the time does not work well for this audience. 6 to 7.30 uh, Pacific time is 4 a.m. in your area. So probably the first session is the more um, applicable one for you. Um, as Keaton said, our age, uh, the requirements for the program are 15 to 18. We are looking for a medium English proficiency, a B1, um, and the tuition is $450. We also do not ask, you don't need a TOEFL score. Um, what we are doing as we receive applications is we're setting up a short Zoom call uh, with the students. And we also invite your parents to come along to that Zoom call just so that we can um, get a, a, an idea of your language level and then also talk with you and your parents about any questions that you might have. Um, next slide, please. So here's information and I'll, I'll drop some information into the chat as well, our contact information. Um, you can see my email and also WhatsApp and then my colleague, Alex, uh, again, his information. Uh, we see some pictures there of some students two years ago, and we can't wait until we can have students back on campus uh, we're, it, for the academy, hopefully next year. Um, in the meantime, I think the Connects is a great opportunity. And we do have um, two 50% scholarships available. Um, and again, you can contact us for information about that. So thank you for your time and I'll pass it on to the next presenter. Thank you. Thank you, Sally. Next we have Jennifer from Embry-Riddle Embry Aeronautical University. Oops, I gotta move the slide along here. Wonderful, thank you so much, Paula, um, and Asil, and everyone else for joining us today. It's always a pleasure to present with my fellow panelists. Um, so my name is Jennifer Fox, and I am the primary contact person for Education USA Academy Connects at Embry-Riddle. Um, for those who may not know, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University is a private university with campuses and educational outreach all around the world. Um, as our name suggests, we specialize in fields related to the aerospace industry, but we don't only educate pilots. So our seven primary fields of study cover um, aviation and non-aviation related industries, such as applied science, business, computers, uh, space, engineering, and safety, security, and intelligence. So Embry-Riddle has two residential campuses in Prescott, Arizona and Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, our Education USA Academy Connects program will run through the Daytona Beach, Florida campus. So that's where I'm presenting from today. Um, we also have a worldwide campus that is rated number one in online bachelor's degrees. So though each of our campuses work independently, our unified structure allows us to take advantage of each other's strengths. So even during the current pandemic, Embry-Riddle and Daytona Beach was well suited to transition to virtual classes um, because we could use the knowledge shared by our worldwide colleagues. And now we're excited to open up our virtual classrooms to international high school students. Um, <clears throat> So for our Academy Connects program, we aim to help international students improve their English skills, um, introduce them to topics in aviation, provide fun, engaging opportunities where students will team up to solve problems. Um, and as with all of the Education USA programs, we will introduce students to the higher education system in the US. Um, in particular, we'll help students prepare for university admissions by taking them on virtual tours of three different colleges and universities, um, create opportunities for them to interact directly with college students and admissions counselors and help them write a university admissions essays. Um, and students will receive a certificate of completion once they've completed the program. Uh, next slide, please. That's a brief overview. And on this next slide, we've got a few more details. 
Um, <clears throat> so our program will begin on June 7th and run for four consecutive weeks. Um, we are opening this up to 15 to 18 year olds um, and much, much like other programs, normally if this was an in-person, we would have to restrict the age at 17, but we're really glad that we can open this up to 18 year olds um, since it's a virtual program. So we are requiring that students demonstrate um, an intermediate to advanced English proficiency during the application process. They don't need to submit any test scores. Um, we just have a recommendation letter that will be completed by the English teacher. And, um, and then we ask the students to also write a personal statement um, about five to 10 sentences long, which will help us understand why you want to come to this particular program and also help us evaluate your English level. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, since, uh, since this is an online program, we do have some technology requirements that are located there on the screen for you. Um, a good internet, internet connection is going to be key. <clears throat> uh, it's also important to note that um, any sort of knowledge or background in aviation or aerospace is not a requirement for this course. So um, even though we're gonna be talking about these things, um, other than English, there are no subject matter prerequisites for international students. And um, we think that you'll be able to, to benefit from the program and enjoy it, even if you have not had any prior knowledge. So the cost is $300 for uh, per student. There's no application fee. <clears throat> Uh, we are unable to offer full scholarships, but we will certainly do our best to help students um, with partial scholarships if needed. The overall program is going to be about 16 hours, and that works out to um, about three hours of synchronous activity per week, plus one hour of independent or asynchronous work. Um, we also have an optional activity a couple of times throughout the program, um, and this is a team building activity. So <clears throat> it's things like an escape room or a scavenger hunt. And these optional activities um, are going to be provided at no extra charge. So if you're able to join and you want the additional time, we'll love to have you. Um, so that is our program in brief. Um, again, my name and uh, the name of my director is at the bottom of the screen there, as well as our contact information. And uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions if you guys have them at the end. Thank you, Jennifer. Next um, up, we have Elizabeth from St. Cloud University. Hello. Uh, good morning, good afternoon. I'm glad we to be, to be here to talk about St. Cloud State University and our Education USA Academy Connect. As you can see in the first slide, I'm just going to um, indicate the dates. We're, we're going for July the 6th to August the 12th. So that will be a six weeks uh, commitment. Can we remain in the first slide, please? Um, our, oh. All right, well, well we're, we're, okay, so the highlights of our program, uh, our concentration will be in improving your writing skills. And the purpose of that is for you to be able to live with a product after you finish your academy with us. That product becomes a robust draft uh, personal statement that you could uh, eventually use for your application uh, into universities here in the United States. So along with that, we're gonna be providing uh, what I will call the three stages. What The first stage will be the selection process. How do you select a university? What is the application process? We're going to go through all of that. We're gonna help you navigate that process. And uh, with that, we're moving on within the main first stage is the one-on-one -on -one meeting with academic advisors. These are uh, professionals who do that for every single college. We have five colleges in our university. So the students will have the opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with each one of them. So they can uh, figure out what type of abilities they have and how they could best uh, select the appropriate major for them. 
also not only contact with the faculty and the academic advisors, they're gonna have uh, contact with international students. And this is not just based on one panel that they're gonna see them only once. The same students who are gonna be in the panel are going to be part also of a WhatsApp group. It, and we do this just to facilitate the communication between students, our own students, and the high school students. Because there are so many questions that sometimes they, are, they don't get answered during presentations, but there is always a follow-up. So there is a, we can consider that a 24-7 uh, contact with, with you. And then uh, we are going also going to have three virtual uh, campus tours with public universities, uh, private universities, and a community college. Because here in Minnesota, we have a variety of options when it comes to education. We're well known as a as a place uh, for that values education. Uh, along with that, we are so going to be doing a workshop and strategies on how to take the ACT and the SAT. This is a requirement that not all universities require, as I, um, but the ones who do, uh, they, there are certain things that if the students is applying for those universities, it will be important for them to know how to best uh, take the test. Along with that, we're gonna be talking with the international admission director to, to review what the process is, and we're gonna review uh, what type of financial resources are available for to international students here. And uh, so that will bring us to the life in college. We are gonna be addressing that point in which, uh, what do we do when you are in college? Campus involvement, what is life here? in uh, university, in this case will be St. Cloud State University. And then uh, we are also going to address the final stage in a academic career. What happened after you received a degree? So we wanna give a global perspective, not just in the application process, which is important, but there is within the, four ne the next four years, what the path is gonna look like. So we're gonna hold the hand, if we may say so, to the students so they understand and have a clear uh, uh, vision of what is it, life is going to be if you are here at a university in the United States for four years pursuing your, your degree. Next slide. So that's the content of our program. So let's go into the details. We are expecting 15 to 18, 18 years, age, years old, just like the other uh, academies are doing. And, uh, but we are looking for a minimum of a B2 uh, for English proficiency. And the reason for that is because in the class that we're gonna be doing composition class, we would like the student to be able to perform and diminish the level of frustration if the English is not up to par what is being uh, addressed in class. So that, that is very important that, uh, and how would you find out about that? We, in the application, in the registration, we have, um, we request a um, recommendation from the English teacher. So that should be enough. And if we are not quite clear, we'll be more than glad to meet with the student to do an Skype interview, which it will not take too much time. The deadline for our program is June 11th. Uh, our schedule will be Tuesday and Thursday from 12 until 1.30 Central Standard Time. I believe that will be 7 p.m. in, in, uh, in your region, 7 or 8 p.m. So that will, that, um, we're hoping that will fit your schedule. Um, the cost is uh, $450 and uh, you have in the screen my contact information, my office number. You can click uh, for more information to go into our website, into our QR. And, uh, and I am in WhatsApp. So thank you kindly for, and you will receive a, a certificate of completion for the course. Thank you. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Sorry for moving the slides along a little too. too. Oh, you kept me on my toes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> next, next we have Christina from St. John's, St. John's University. Thanks so much. Um, thank you so much for the invitation to come and present here today. Um, my name is Christina Quartararo, and I am the Executive Director for Inbound Programs in our Office of International Education. Um, St. John's University is a private university in New York City, and um, 
we are really excited to be able to bring this program to students online this year. Uh, we ran the program in February for the first time really successfully, and we thought that the um, movement to the online platform worked really, really well. So the program that we are running is called U.S. Higher Education, Knowing Your Options and Finding the Right Fit. Um, and the idea is that students really have a lot to think about when they are trying to decide what they want to study. It's more than just the application process. It's really about figuring out first, what is the place that they want to study? Do they want to study at a large university, um, something like St. John's in, in a big city, a smaller campus? Um, and so we really try to walk students through what major they might want to study and then how do they find the right institution to match their goals. Um, and of course, then we talk them through the whole application process, including what kind of tests might be required, financial aid, ways to make um, an application stand out. Uh, we work on college essays and personal statements, and students do have one-to-one -one, um, writing appointments with our English teachers to work on their personal statements. We also want to make sure that students are talking to students. So there is an international student panel discussion where we invite current and former international students to talk about their experiences and answer questions in breakout rooms. And then we do have at the end of the program, a second opportunity where students are getting together and able to talk. Um, we also give our program participants the opportunity to meet with deans and advisors on campus. And so what we're really trying to do is help uh, the program participants see different perspectives on the college application process and then what it's like to be a student. So they're talking to students, they're talking to our um, admissions representatives and English teachers, they're talking to deans. So there's really a lot of exposure to all different kinds of people. Um, and when we hear from the program participants, what they say they get from the program is really a sense of confidence, um, a better understanding of their own goals and the opportunities that are available to them, and the better preparation for the whole process, which is a, a major process, right, with lots of steps. Um, of course, we have virtual campus visits, as all the Academy Connects programs do. Um, in New York City, we have over a hundred institutions of higher education. So we have lots of opportunity to introduce students to different kinds of colleges, um, two-year colleges, public, private. So we have a lot of opportunity for students to get to know more about their options in New York City, but also really in the United States. Um, next slide, please. So here are some of the details of our program. This uh, screenshot is from our February program. So you can see happy faces smiling here. Um, the program will start June 1st, so just in a few weeks and run to July 6th. And the sessions are all live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And you can see that we have three different times available. And I think that middle time will be the time for you. So that's 11 a.m. Eastern time, which works out to be about 6 p.m. for many of you. So I think that that's probably going to be the time that works best uh, for folks in your region. The cost of the program is $250 and we do have scholarships available. Our scholarships are all partial scholarships. So the maximum scholarship that a student can receive is 50%. But the scholarship application process is, is pretty simple. There's an application on our website. Um, so we do encourage people to apply. And we're hoping that folks will apply by next week uh, because the program starts in just a few weeks. Um, of course, you know, if someone wanted to apply and hadn't made it by the May 18th deadline, they should definitely contact me about that. Um, there will be a certificate issued to all students. So anyone who participates and attends all the sessions will get a uh, certificate of participation. Um, and going this far into the presentation, it's easy for me to say that basically all of the requirements are similar to my uh, colleagues. Students need to be between 15 and 18. They need to have a, an intermediate proficiency in English, although we don't require um, any kind of letter of recommendation. Um, so we are hopeful that we'll have some of your students here uh, enrolling in our program this summer. 
And you can see our website there. And that is my contact information. And I'm happy to answer any questions anyone has um, at the end of the presentation or by email or through our website. So thanks so much for the opportunity. Thank you, um, Christina. Um, now we're on to Shannon from Temple University. All right, excellent. Hello, everyone. And thank you all for allowing me to join today. I'm always really excited to talk about Connects um, because personally, I am an instructor in the Connects program and I've worked with the Academy, uh, Education USA Academy for the last few years. Uh, so I'm always excited to come in and speak to students and those interested. Uh, so to speak a little bit about Temple University, we're located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, about two hours from New York City and about um, two and a half to three hours to DC. So I love our central location. Uh, we're a public research institution with lots of majors to choose from. So we hope that students can find something they're interested in. But specifically about Connects, Similar to as my colleagues discussed, we are focused on helping you learn about the ins and outs of US universities, about applying, about when you become a student. Uh, but specifically, we have two courses in our program. Our first course is all about confidence. It's gaining the confidence to present, it's confidence in speaking English inside and outside the classroom, and in general, building up your confidence about your knowledge of US universities. So in our first course, you're going to develop your own presentation, work on your pronunciation and presentation skills. Um, and then what's a great experience is at the end of the program, you get the recording of that presentation and you get personalized feedback from me, your instructor, uh, where it's all about your pronunciation, all about your presentation skills and what you can develop. In our second course, similar to, as my colleagues discussed, we're focusing on the admissions process and kind of all of the parts of university, hopefully that you are interested in. So how to write your college admissions essay, what it's like to choose a major maybe that you're interested in. Uh, you're also going to be able to meet with our college admissions team to get feedback on your essay, uh, to hear about the application process, to ask questions, um, and then just as my colleagues mentioned, we'll be doing some virtual campus tours of Temple University and other universities in the Philadelphia area. Our goal in our program is to really give you as much engagement as possible. So in this second course, you're gonna be able to meet with current and, uh, current and graduated international students um, and ask them questions about what that process looks like when they started applying and then when they became a student. We do have two dates available for our Connects. First one is coming up really soon. That's June 1st uh, to the 25th from 11 a.m. to 12.30, which might be late for you guys. But then our second in July, which will be in the afternoon, is at 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So both of these courses will take place on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, the program cost is $300 and includes private tutoring and optional social activities. I did want to mention before I move on to the next slide, we do have scholarships available, which are partial 50% scholarships. So if you're interested, especially if you're interested in our June 1st program, I suggest you apply by next week because we'll be making that decision very soon. Next slide, please. So as I mentioned, we do have that 50% scholarship, or if you're uh, interested in potentially becoming an in-person academy student, you can put the $300 program fee to a future in-person academy. And then as I mentioned, we do have optional weekly activities, and we want you to get engaged with other students at the Center for American Language and Culture, to meet with our staff, to have some fun. Uh, so if you are interested in outside of classes joining us, you can come to an, a Breaking the Ice session, an opportunity to build up your confidence presenting in our second session. Uh, you can meet with our staff and work on developing a PowerPoint and understanding best PowerPoint practices for presenting in the third session. And then finally, we have some fun and play some games and get some more confidence before that last presentation date during our final week. 
Again, my name is Shannon. Uh, and if anyone has any questions, I'm always really happy to talk about connects. So please feel free to email us at tcalc.special or my personal email that I'll put into the chat. Also feel free to follow us on social media or follow this QR code right here to learn more about our program. And hopefully I'll see you all in the classroom very soon. Thank you, Shannon. And our, our final presenter today is Carolyn from the University of Colorado Boulder. Welcome, Carolyn. Is Carolyn with us? Carolyn, you're oh. muted. You're muted. Oh. Unmute. Yay. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, greetings from beautiful Boulder, Colorado. Um, I'm Carolyn Allen. And oh, did I? Um, can you hear me now? We do. You do hear me. Okay, good. Um, anyway, I'm Carolyn Allen. I'm the special programs manager at University of Colorado Boulder, otherwise known as CU Boulder. So first, thank you, Paula and Asil for organizing this webinar and inviting us to present at it. So I'm very excited to talk about our Education USA um, Academy course for summer 2021, and we call ours Application Ready. So as the title suggests, the course prepares high school students to submit strong applications to the universities of their choice in the US. Um, so that's the overall goal. Um, just a little bit of context about the university. Um, CU Boulder, of course, is located in Boulder. We're about an hour from Denver at the base of the Rocky Mountains. We are a top public university that has about uh, 30,000 30, students, 10% of which are international students. We're a tier one research institution with highly ranked programs in STEM fields, uh, particularly engineering. So um, that's a little bit about the university. Now about our program, um, in this remote class, we're um, really going to start by giving students a, a comprehensive overview of the entire college application process in the US, which can be challenging for native speaking English uh, or students from the US. Um, so, you know, this is really worthwhile for international students who want some help navigating the whole process. So um, and one really big component of our course is um, assistance with writing the personal essay for college applications, which is so important to that. Um, another aspect of the course is that we focus on improving your English skills for specifically for the language proficiency tests, um, namely TOEFL and IELTS. So depending on the students who enroll in our course, this may take up a larger percentage of the course or a smaller percentage. So maybe our the particular students who enroll don't really need as much work on their on their English skills and they want to focus more on their writing. Of course, the course will include virtual campus tours um, and you will engage in question and answer sessions with admissions counselors. Uh, so you get an idea of what will make a standout application. <clears throat> You'll also explore scholarship opportunities to different universities. And, you know, part of that process includes, you know, assessing which universities in the US really meet your particular goals for your education. Um, and you also will have an opportunity to interact with current and former <clears throat> international students at the university. So you have an idea of what to expect when you get to a US college. Um, and of course, at the end of the course, you will receive a um, certificate of completion. So next slide, please. So here are the details about our course. It begins on June 22nd and runs until July 29th. Um, we meet synchronously online on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Mountain Time. 
which translates to four o'clock your time um, if you're in in that you know region um, and that's 1300 to 1430 UTC. Our registration deadline is June 1st, um, but again, I think we we would be a little bit flexible if you um, you know are slightly miss that deadline. Our cost is 450 US dollars. And then like my colleagues, we have very similar uh, requirements in terms of age. So it's um, 15 to 18 year olds that are that qualify for this. Uh, we also ask for a B1 CEFR proficiency level. And if throughout the application process, we were still not sure if we believe that this is the right course for you. We may set up a Zoom, um, a brief Zoom um, discussion just to assess your language skills. And that's really uh, everything you need to know, at least for now, about our course. So thank you for considering our uh, course application ready. Thank you, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. um, and thank you all, all of the representatives from the host institutions. Um, and to our participants, um, I hope this sparked your interest in the EDUSA Academy Connects programs. I just want to bring your attention to the website where you can go and explore each of these institutions in a little more detail. And from there, um, you know, decide which one um, is most closely aligns with your interests, and you simply click on register um, here or register now um, to complete the application process. And of course, if you have any questions about the um, Academy Connects programs, you're you're welcome to reach out to us at the Education USA um, Center, and I'll we'll show you our um, contact information shortly. And also, any other Ed, Ed USA representatives are also happy to help you from the uh, um, in the other regions of in the Middle East. Um, but I'd like to just take a minute to see if we have any questions. If anybody has any questions that they'd like to ask, we had a couple in the chat box, but I believe those were addressed. These are inclusive programs; all are welcome. Um, so we're. I think each, each institution would welcome you to register. Um, does anybody else have a question? Feel free to type it in the chat box. Asil, did you want to share any of the questions from the registration link? Yes, sure. Um, yeah, Paula, so some of the questions were related to the cost and uh, all our uh, panelists, they discussed this. Okay. And also there is this question, which is in the um, Q&A, which is related to the number of hours, and they range between 15 to 18. It depends on the institution itself and the program itself. Um, also, um, some of the questions that we had also related, how can students join, how to register, and uh, all of our panelists, uh, most of them, they have answered this question. Some of the questions that we have are related to generally uh, applying for universities. And in fact, some of our, like some students said, if I join those courses, uh, would I be able to decide on the major and the college? And in fact, some of those summer courses are related to this topic, just like others are related to personal statement or getting ready for university. So this also has been answered. Um, for other panelists, feel free, feel free to answer the question, which is related to how to sign up uh, after Zoom, the Zoom is over. Uh, this is in the Q&A, and I see that most of you have answered. Thank you so much. Also, some other question that we have is related to um, English language uh, proficiency. How can students uh, improve their English language proficiency? And in fact, this these courses, summer courses, is one they provide some of the opportunities for students who are wanting to study in the U.S. and improve their English language skills. Um, let me check some other questions as well. And, well, Asil is looking at the questions. I don't know if any of you have any closing comments you'd like to share or clarifying um, points to make um, before we wrap up. 
I just want to go ahead. Sorry, um, I would just, this is Sally, I would just say that I think in our experience, um, the students who have gone through the academy program, whether it's the live face-to-face -face program or the Connects program, I think the overwhelming um, characteristic from the students has been that they finish the program with a really increased sense of confidence and knowledge about the what's going on in the United States and how to pick a school. And uh, they walk away just feeling like they've, they understand all of that a lot better than they had when they started the program. You know, a lot of uh, foundational understanding, I think, of US higher education from this experience. And I'll add one thing. So thank you for mentioning that, Sally. And the other benefit that I think is present in all programs is you're meeting other international students from around the world who have the same interest in coming to study in the US. And I think for all our programs in, in past uh, iterations of the program, these students have formed really strong relationships. They've formed a network and they've stayed in touch uh, since the programs have ended. And that's a huge benefit when you actually end up going to college or, or university. Those long lasting friendships, that's, that's really nice. I'm just gonna quickly share our, our contact information here. Um, if you have any questions um, or would like some help um, registering for the programs, please feel free to reach out to us at our Education USA, our Doha Education USA email or our personal emails here. Um, we're happy to hear from you and we're happy to help. Um, and also remember to reach out to your um, EdUSA advisors in your home countries. I'm just going to stop the share here. Um, and I think that if we don't have any other questions, in fact, some of the questions are related. How can students get full scholarship or full tuition from U.S. institutions? So, although this is, that is not beyond, are they talking about when they actually attend college as opposed to the Academy yes. Connects program? So yes. maybe that, How can, yeah. yeah, an international student get full tuition or scholarship from the U.S. institution. So in general, not just the summer programs. I don't know if anybody wants to touch on that. That's a little bit outside the conversation, but. Well, I, I think that many of the programs that we're talking about today address that. Okay. We explore possibilities for scholarships. So that's something in the, students in the class. Can, mm -hmm. can learn about as they attend the academy, not only like, you know, writing their uh, personal statements, but just kind of navigating the whole U U.S. college um, application process, which financial aid is definitely a part of that. Mm -hmm. Great. Yes. Some other questions. Someone says, someone of the students says, so I'm 19 years old now. Can I contribute in this academy? Is, if So I think, you know, individual students should contact the academies to talk about those things. So for example, if you are a 19 year old student doing a gap year and considering going abroad for, you know, a degree in the United States, then the program could still be, um, useful, but, you know, it's really on an individual basis. So most of the students that we're going to see are going to be students enrolled in high school or maybe doing a gap year. So I would encourage that student to reach out to whichever uh, academy school he or she might be interested in to see whether it really is appropriate. Yeah, as we, as has been mentioned before, the, the limit of 17 was raised to 18 since this is an online course for this summer, the, the issue is really about, or was about um, minors and adults being in the same class, but it's less of an issue remote. Yeah. Yeah, virtual. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So any, any other closing thoughts or statements or? Again, I'd like to thank all of you representatives from the host in institutions. I really appreciate you taking the time to share the information with our international students. And I hope the students do find um, time to check out the website and, 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 and register. And I just want to remind them that there are some deadlines coming up, especially for those sessions that start in June, if they're of interest to you. So don't delay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Thank Thanks you. Thanks to all the to all the participants who joined us today. Thanks a lot. Thank you.